actress Ejine Okura for recounts her experience after her near-death experience with a tricycle rider in Enugu State. Okay, what happened was, I'm not sure of the exact time, but that should be around 6 o'clock or 6.30. I was on my way coming back from location. My colleague dropped me off in front of her estate. So she packed well and helped me to get a keke. When we got the first keke, she explained to the keke where I was going to. The keke said he doesn't know my hotel. She was still explaining to the guy. The guy said that he's new. He doesn't know all the areas she called that is around my hotel. So I was like, it's better to enter another one. So I waved down the other keke. The guy then came. She was trying to bargain with the guy with prize. I told her not to worry, let me go. Because I was rushing back to my room to stop, stop, he refused. I now grabbed my bag, the one I could, I now jumped off the keke. When I jumped off, I was rolling on the floor as he was going. I think my gym bag that I grabbed, the rope hung to the keke. Then it was not, I held on to it, so I was rolling with it till my hand. Uh, let's go. That was what happened. People were screaming. When I was rolling on the floor, going with him, people were shouting, shouting before he finally stopped. Then when I came out, a lot of people gathered. They were asking what happened. I was narrating the story. Some ladies came, two women. They were like, ah, that they saw me when I brought out my head. I was screaming, stop, stop. I don't know what the guy said. Some women were saying that if you don't understand, if you don't understand English, at least you heard stop, 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 stop. And that was the only thing I said to him because I was uncomfortable. Then Chinwe came. She was helping me out. She was like, ah, oh, but they're not supposed to give me drug in an empty stomach. That maybe one of them might be antibiotics. I knew one is um, for tetanus. So she now said, ah, oh. I now became scared. I was like, oh, what's going to happen? We need to go to hospital. So my my people came from location they now called the hospital that see how i'm reacting to i think it's a nurse that picked the call so the nurse requested to speak to me i explained to her how i was feeling uh she now said uh, that i should sleep that when i wake up i'll be fine but i said but i'm uncomfortable and i'm weak i am having internal cold so I now told them that I'm not comfortable. I need to go to another hospital. Chin went and suggested another hospital. So they brought me here. I saw the doctor. He now called them. Before they came, the KK man has run. He has left. So I was all there. When they came, they now carried me to a nearby pharmacy to get first aid. From there, they cleaned all my bruises with spirits. Then they now took me to another hospital. I saw the doctor, they gave me in two injections, one on my bum bum, one on my hand, and gave me some medications to take. Then I went back to hotel. Getting back to hotel, my production manager needs to go back. So he now said he's bringing someone from the location to stay with me in the room. I was all alone. Then next minute, I started having internal cold. I started throwing up, so I became scared. I had to do a video to put out there. I didn't know what was going to happen to me, so somebody will know my story. That's how I started having crises. I was reacting to the... I didn't want to carry on with the uh, uh, trip. And I said, please stop. The man refused. Thank God uh, for the woman that was there, one of the women. She helped me go down to the man's keke and grabbed all my things. She carried all my, uh, she was now picking my things on the road. My cell pass cut off. My phone broke. And uh, now my phone is not working. I'm just using my international number. I don't have a Nigerian SIM in it. I, I'm sharing hotspots to use my Instagram. So there was no way to reach anybody. I was stranded. So people gathered, they were asking, they held the kekema. They were like, but why didn't you stop when this young lady was saying stop, stop? So one guy recognized me. He was like, he was in our production a few days ago. He shot with me. 
I was like, oh, okay. He then said, I was like, please, do you have my production manager's number? He said, yes. I now said, okay, please call Jude. Tell him what happened. I understand Igbo very well because the conversation we had was with was in english so he now said oh no so Ibo, this one that one he was complaining that after all today is monday sit at home i'm not supposed to come out when he was sounding like that i became scared i know unknown government they don't want people going out on sit at home days on mondays i became scared he was angry talking to himself and i said oga please stop he refused because I noticed that down the road is is lonely. I noticed that I I said to myself, if I follow this man and he keeps on going this way to the lonely road, he might harm me. So I now said, Oga, stop, please stop. He refused. I now brought out my head because I could see there were a lot of people on that street. I now said, stop, stop, stop. I was going to change my pad. I'm on my period. I'm on my period. I'm already stained. So I got into the keke. As we were going, the guy and I branched to the Philly station to buy Phil. I said, ah, oh, Olga, you know I'm in a hurry. That's why I didn't want to bargain with you. He was not saying eh, that is a normal thing to carry someone and go and buy Phil. That today is Monday and I'm sit at home. That he needs Phil. I said, oh, Olga. You would have told me now when I entered. Besides, I have phobia for Philly Station. You know how KK is? KK is open. It's not like a car. So it's just like, you know, being in an, being in an open space in a Philly Station. So he now said, when I said I have phobia for it, he now zoomed off and then got angry. As this man zoomed off, he kept on complaining, talking to himself. He now started saying, Oh, now I saw you, 